last year was was definitely an experience. I don't think we're gonna, at least I don't think anybody else is really gonna have another experience like it, doing a whole year of med school online, but who knows the future. Welcome back to Essence MD. Today I'm going to be talking about my first year at St. George's. So I started term one of year one, August of 2020. I thought it was going to be, I thought that was the only term that was going to be online. I thought I was going to be able to move back to the island for the second term that starts in January. But to my surprise, all first year was online. So here's how it went down. So basically, I started off really strong because, like I said, I thought it was just going to be that one semester. So I was like, just um, work hard with the, the distractions of being at home and being surrounded by family. And that when I get back to the island, everything would just, you know, go a lot smoother. But first term went well. Second term still passed, but it didn't, it wasn't as easy as term one for me and I also play, think that the reason I did so well in term one was because of my history with the CFP program like I've talked about in a previous video but as for term one basically I have my iPad here just to keep my um, thoughts organized and to let you guys know actually what we learned so term one was just a lot of basic um, basic like background like we learned about the cardiovascular system about the muscular system about the pulmonary system the renal system stuff like that we also had dla's um this is also a part of the curriculum for sgu in which you teach yourself material so there's some videos that you either have to watch before a lecture or after a lecture and it's meant to guide you in what you're going to learn during the lecture so it's could be it could go from anywhere from just like a couple like 10 slides to like 25 slides and some of them are accompanied by videos and some of them aren't i didn't really like the ones that weren't accompanied by videos because obviously i didn't really know what to study i would kind of just think that i have to learn everything that are on the slides which are not necessarily always true um term two I felt like why maybe I didn't do as well is because I was just tired of being at home. I didn't know when we were gonna go back to campus. There was a lot of rumors going back and forth that like, oh, we're going now or we're not going, you know, a lot of back and forth. So I was just like, I don't wanna do online school forever. Like I'm just sick and tired of it. So I kind of just lost my motivation. But you know, obviously when you see the grades slow, uh, when you see the grades going down, that motivation comes right back into action. So I was able to kick it up again and finish strong, which is all that matters. As for what we learned term two, um, we learned a lot of the endocrine system, um, which was not really easy for me, as well as the like reproductive system and um, Uh, the digestive system didn't really like it either. I think maybe that was another reason term two was was pretty difficult. A lot of the information that we were learning were not my strong suits whatsoever. And then we ended off the term with learning about the um, neural behavioral sciences, which I liked, so that helped that we ended off on a good note. Um, another thing that we did throughout the year was labs. So in addition to taking these classes and our lectures, we had uh, lab, 
which was online. Another reason I really didn't like the online schooling, seeing the cadaver from a Zoom camera, the quality is not the best. I, as a visual and like a physical learner, not being able to actually touch what we're like learning about or see it very clearly definitely played a huge um, impact on my ability to learn the material. So I'm very happy that when we get back to the island, we could start going to labs in person so I could actually, you know, learn stuff for myself. And then at the end of term one and term two, we did have to do a lab exam. We also had an um, OSEX exam. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But that was just basically about like patient interaction, how to run a physical exam, stuff like that. But those two exams, the lab exam and the OSEX exam, weren't too like too strenuous or um, stressful or anything. They were kind of just like extra points and stuff like that. On top of lectures, labs, we also had small groups which is where you gather with um, at least 10, not even 10. In each group, there's probably like about 10 of us and a facilitator, and you would just go over what you're learning that, um, that week. They would give you a prompt that you're supposed to go over and like answer the questions or identify the histo slides beforehand, and then we would discuss it we would discuss it when we're all together and stuff like that. And it would give us a chance to communicate with our peers, also able to ask the facilitators to elaborate on stuff maybe we didn't understand in class. One thing that helped me in term one as well as term two was the open peer learning groups. So those are not really tutoring sessions, but you get together with upperclassmen and they give you tips on like what was tested a lot their year and what to focus on and stuff like that since we are learning a lot of material some material are more important than others so they helped you kind of guide your studying and term two i ended up doing the same thing for the term one students and that really helped me the second half of term one um the second half sorry of my first year because at the end of the first year, we had to do a big exam from everything we learned from term one to term two. So by helping the term ones my term two uh, semester, I was able to brush up on stuff that I learned from the first term, as well as continuing with what I was learning the second term. And I felt like it really helped. Oh, um, attendance. We just, we show up online and we, we did have um, a policy where you had to at least show up to about 80% of classes and how they would do attendance is that they would do um, clicker questions throughout the lecture so you had to make sure you were logged on to the lecture as well as answering the questions you didn't have to answer the questions right or anything you just had to answer and if you did those two things you were given credit for attending that class same thing went for small groups you had to attend at least 80% I believe um, and small groups you had to have your cameras on so that's how they were able to see if you were actually there unlike lecture you didn't have to have your cameras on they actually preferred you didn't have your cameras on because there were so many of us that sometimes it would mess with the, um, the connection same thing for lab you didn't really have to have your cameras on for that and they would take attendance for labs um, just by logging in. Sometimes we had like clicker questions, but I don't even really think they counted. But um, just logging in was the main thing for lab attendance. I also forgot to mention, um, we also had IMCQs, which are just, they typically happened every Friday or like every other Friday. And we would just have a class where it was just all clicker questions and we were allowed to discuss it with our classmates. So since we're not actually with our classmates, a lot of us had group chats with our friends where we would discuss the questions. Yeah, first year was was definitely an experience. I 
don't think we're gonna at least I don't think anybody else is really gonna have another experience like it doing a whole year of med school online but who knows the future so that was my experience first year of med school at St. George's University and stay tuned for the more videos we have. Me and Nancy are super excited to share our different journeys to that MD with you. So thanks guys. We hope you love Essence MD and that you guys stay tuned. Tell your friends, please give us a follow on Instagram as well as TikTok. Um, ask us questions on any platform and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But. Bye guys.